Yeah, you guys know what time it is. It's the micro clad, micro clad. This is my entry for a 12-inch micro racer challenge. All right, challenge. Got to go around two buoys, 10, 50 feet apart, 10 times. All right, that's the challenge. Fast as you can. Um, you can use up to a 60 gram battery. You've got to use a 2030 motor. Okay, and the boat can only be 12 inches long. Has to be built out of wood. There you go. There's your micro racer challenge. Uh, this is my entry. Like I said, the micro clad. It's the scaled down version of my iron clad ship. This is a mini outrigger I built a little while ago. It's just scaled down version. Okay. Um, today we're not going to do a full build series. All right. Full build tutorial type deal. Uh, this is a homemade boat it's taken me a long time to get here a lot of cussing <laughs> etc so i'm not going to go through the whole uh three days worth of editing to for the video but i'll i'm gonna explain what we got how i got here some of my design thoughts how i got the design of my boats kind of what i expect from the boat and uh yeah i'll show you what we got so uh stick around big b here with our clad rc All right, let's get to it. Let's get to it. Let's start with the tub. All right, let's start with the tub. Like you guys, you guys probably already know, I got a, a easy run, 5200 kV, uh, 2030 in the boat. All right, uh, that's Hobby Wing, 20 amp generic bi-directional ESC, 20 amps, uh, two to four S capable. Um, micro servo. All right, I made the homemade rudder. Okay, it's adjustable forward and back for tunability. All right, I can pull this pin and put two or three different rudders on the boat. I've got two made, or three made already. Um, different shapes, tunability. All right, this is my turn fin bracket that I made. Okay, um, I was going to make it so it like moves, pivots forward and backwards. Uh, but I decided to just epoxy it onto the boat. Boom, done. All right, I made this turn fin. Okay stainless steel turn fin all right i put a bend in it I got two of them made i got a small one and a large one all right this one goes into the water about 17 millimeters or so uh this one right here goes into water about 50 millimeters uh maybe not maybe about 40. um epoxy onto the boat i shortened up the boom tubes by two inches uh 13 inch boom tube took two inches off now they're 11 all right 11 inches wide okay i'm using the fuel line Eighth inch, eighth inch fuel line to keep my sponsons on the boom tubes. All right, look at that right there. That's freaking on there, okay? That's on there. Look, it ain't going nowhere. All right, um, this right here on this open sponson design, uh, I went with the open sponson design of something I've been wanting to do for a long time. Something different. Um, that's for looks. I opened that up just for looks, all right? I, I went for looks. That's why I put my turn fin on the boat like I did just for looks just to be different all right just trying to think outside the box um this boom tube is going to go into this one right here eventually and i when, once it does i can adjust i should be able to adjust my sponsons up down or perfectly level i can basically put my ride surface at any any level okay just just later on if i feel like messing around see what it does with a with it lifted up like this you know what i'm saying the whole the whole thing like that or or vice versa just just because just because plastic tubes hold in place these move back and forth uh same thing with this side right here i'll end up drilling the hole later on um my tub design all right my tub design it's real thick and fat you guys probably noticed that and it's wide okay i made it thick and fat so i because of that that curve on the bottom of the boat right there you see how it curves up quite a bit it's not like a streamlined curve i did that on purpose okay uh you got to figure that this boat's not going to be floated at all by its sponsons all right um unless i put this foam in there i made it i thought about you know if i need flotation uh i'll be able to put this foam in there sandwich a piece right in between it cut it perfect sandwich it in there okay well back to why uh, my sponsons, my sponsons are not going to be floating, okay? They're going to be under the freaking water, basically. You know what I'm saying? They don't have any flotation. I'm going to be relying on the tub of the boat solely for flotation. So the boat's basically going to sit something like that, I would imagine. All right? Uh, once, if it's sitting like that, that means my sponsons will probably more than likely be underwater at some point in time. 
Hence my high AOA on this boat. Okay, that's why I, I gave the boat an, a higher AOA with a really steep ski up front. Okay, um, let me take the rudder off right here. And you guys can see what I'm talking about. All right, so the boat's sitting flat on the, basically on its ride surface. And my AOA is about 8 degrees. I measured it already. So with that front ski right there, if they're sitting underwater, okay, I blip the trigger, give it some throttle, boom, it should pop it right out of water. That's my thoughts. Um, I'm working on some adjustable ride pads that are going to actually hinge up front and we can... We'll have adjustment settings like this up and down so we can mess with the AOA like with the with the turn of a screw. Okay, I'm working on that. The boat's done, you guys. It's done. My collet. I've hit a brick wall. Alright. This is a cheap collet from China. It's um the hole's bored to like 2.1. The 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 motor has a two millimeter shaft and and the collet's bored to like 2.1. You know, it's supposed to be two millimeters, but it has a lot of play in it. A lot, a lot, um, a lot of play, a lot of freaking play. So I added those grub screws. I added a grub screw here and a grub screw over here on the on the shaft side. Okay, um, I'll be able to like try to center the shaft on the collet a little bit easier with four grub screws. All right, so I drilled and tapped it with a drill. You know, just tapped it out. And um, I'm gonna get, let me spool it up. Let me let you hear it. That thing's out of whack, and I've kind of got it. <laughs> it sounds bad. Shaft out. You hear that? It shouldn't sound like that. That, that coupler's way out of balance. Yeah, that bore on the coupler is a little too large because the motor shaft is on the money. Okay, it's got to be the coupler. Cheap coupler from China. I don't recommend those blue couplers. They're a little bit large because i bought some for the 2440 and that's how much plays on those couplers okay all right so that's the 2440 i bought some more for the 380 brushless motor from traxxas all right that one don't have quite as much play but it's got some play okay so i don't recommend those couplers they're uh the bore size a little big if you could if you can figure it out how to do it without the bore size being correct, those are the couplers for you. But these things, these motors, they're odd size. I mean, you know, they don't, they don't, it's not five millimeter, not eight millimeter, it's not 3.17 or 3.18, it's two millimeters. Odd size, they don't use these in boats. That's the challenge. That's the freaking challenge. Hell, that's the challenge, finding a freaking coupler for your boat. That's the challenge. I might have to make one. Um, the steering's hooked up. Boom. Okay. Boom. Yeah kind of what's holding me up that's really really what's holding me up with the build uh with with my maiden really um i'm gonna show you guys my top secret my top secret sponson design okay uh this is basically going to be put on the boat just like these sponsons right here okay but the cool thing about this is they're adjustable all right boom uh, I got to I got to cut some more pieces to go on all of them and I've already got this tack just tacked on just kind of mocking it up for you but um I'll basically have this piece of wood on there with an elongated hole cut into it sort of like this we'll put a, a nut and bolt on there boom change the AO up, AOA up with the click of a finger all right I know this isn't like freaking competition like style boat you know it's not nothing fancy or nothing like that but i built it it's ironclad and it's adjustable it's tunable in every way shape or fashion all right i've got water cooling made all right goes on this aluminum motor mount cools the motor if i need it okay blast pickup design it'll go right through the transom if i need it okay i've thought i've tried to think about everything the only thing holding me up is that she's freaking done 222 grams 222 all right um yeah she's done that's how i set her up double side tape this just gotta tuck in some wires and we'll spray some foam up front uh put some flotation back here maybe like right here you know i got plenty of room that's why i made my tub so large because i'm not gonna have the flotation out here you know what i'm saying 
Um, I've got elongated holes on my turn fin so I can go up and down with that. But, you know, it's a homemade boat. There's lots of obstacles you have to overcome with a homemade build. You know what I'm saying? Um, lots of little things you got to figure out, especially if you're trying to do something a little bit different uh, than everybody else, you know, design-wise. Uh, there's things you have to overcome, you know, and she's, uh, she's not pretty. It's an ironclad. It's an ironclad ship. <laughs> she's not pretty at all but um you know if some of this stuff will be changed up we might have to rip a stuffing tube out we may have to uh put the different sponsons on um but that's the hobby that's the hobby that's what's so fun about rc boats you know that's why i like rc boats opposed to trucks and and cars because a lot of this stuff's homemade and a lot of this stuff you, you know you can make it homemade and you can build a ho whole homemade boat uh with readily available materials you find basically at any hobby shop you know what i'm saying that's what's so freaking awesome about the boating hobby um but the ironclad ship is done thanks for watching big b with ironclad rc channel where we tinker test and build rc boats i know you guys aren't looking at my aft again <laughs> what's with you guys